The White Company Italian, Compagnia Bianca del Falco was a 14th-century English mercenary company of adventure Italian, Compagnia di Ventura, led from its arrival in Italy in 1361–1363 by the German Albert Sturz and later by the Englishman John Hawkwood. Although the White Company is the name by which it is popularly known, it was initially called the Great Company of English and Germans and would later often be referred to as the English Company it, Compagnia degli Inglesi, L. Societas Anglices. <laughs> Origins of the name No medieval source explains the company's name. The traditional view is that it is a reference to the brightly polished armor of the men at arms, however, William Caffero has suggested that it was because the company originally wore white surcoats. This view might be supported by the fact that mercenaries led by Arnaud de Serval in France at this time were known as Bonds Blanches. <laughs> Makeup of the company Despite it being commonly referred to as the English Company, personnel were drawn from a wide range of nationalities, reflecting the international nature of Italian mercenary warfare in the 14th century, including at various times Germans, Italians and Hungarians. The numbers of men in the company varied over the years. In 1361, it is recorded as having 3,500 cavalry and 2,000 infantry. At its lowest ebb in 1388, it had a mere 250 men. The company was organized in lances of three men, a man-at-arms, a squire and a page. Of these, only the man-at-arms and squire were armed. These lancers were organized into contingents, each under a corporal, who was often an independent sub-contractor. This structure gave the company a certain democratic element and it is thought that John Hawkwood first gained command of the company in 1365 by election. The company contained numbers of infantry, particularly English longbowmen. These could be mounted on horses as were the 600 involved in the Battle of Castagnaro in 1387. In addition to its military structure, the company had an administrative staff, usually Italian, of chancellors and notaries who managed the legal and contractual aspects of the company's relationship with its employers, and a treasurer to handle its financial affairs. The White Company's treasurer was an Englishman, William Thornton. Topic: Tactics. The White Company is credited with introducing to Italy the practice of dismounting men at arms in battle, a practice already commonplace in the battles of the Hundred Years' War in France. Contemporary witnesses record that the company fought dismounted and in close order, advancing with two men at arms holding the same lance at a slow pace while shouting loud battle cries. The longbowmen apparently drew up behind. This is not to suggest that they abandoned mounted combat altogether. The Battle of Castagnaro was won by a cavalry charge. Topic: Battles. The White Company was involved in the following battles: 
Battle of Cantorino 1363 First Battle of Cassina 1364 Battle of San Mariano 1365 Second Battle of Cassina 1369 Battle of Monticciari 1373 Castagnaro 1387 Tizana 1391 The company was also involved in a large number of skirmishes, sieges and attacks on towns. Less honorable was their participation in the massacre at Cecina in 1377, when several thousand civilians were killed. Popular culture The White Company is the title of a novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle which is very loosely based on the historical company. Unlike the historical company, the main focus of the action is in Spain and the White Company led by Bertrand de Gesclin to Spain in 1366 was also an inspiration. The book was popular as an adventure novel, its well-chosen title raising the profile of the historical company among a lay readership. See also Condottieri Condottieri di Ventura database in Italian.